Welcome to this look at a new mod map on Farming Simulator 22 with me, Mr. Sealy P. I'm here at Clarkson's Farm. This is the map Chipping Norton by FS Landscaping. 463.83 megabytes to download. This is a facsimile of the area. Chipping Norton, Chadlington. Um, it's got Diddley Squat Farm and it's or the farm shop and it's got Clarkson's farm on it. There are some adjustments and changes that have been made to make it farming simulator compatible. Um, there are a couple of bits that I'm unsure about. You'll see as we go around, but I have to say, having been to Diddley Squat Farm, there's a couple of pictures I'm going to put up as I go around. I'm just not, not bragging. I just want to show you how sort of close the likeness is of it. And if you've seen the show, there's some nice touches in here that... that marry up very very well it's very cleverly done um, contracts are available on the map there are no required mods to download however it says in the d description if you install the Lamborghini R6 250 it'll show up as starting equipment because famously Clarkson's got a big old Lamborghini tractor now on console on PlayStation 5 I've got it installed I've got it selected it hasn't shown up in start equipment uh, I've tried all three game modes, I've come out, I've come back, I've tried again and again. I've also downloaded the Mac 2... No, what is it? There's another one. There's two Lamborghinis. I've downloaded them both, just in case I've downloaded the wrong one, still not showing up. But anyway, that being said, so you can download that if you want to. Um, there's a black pickup, standard in-game one here, that represents um, Caleb Cooper's uh, pickup. There is a Toyota Hilux in the mods that matches up very nicely with here so if you want to go for something like that as well you can anyway all that being said the map looks like this i am on new farmer now on new farmer you do start with a fair bit we do start with the main farm area clarkson's farm here a few fields if we click on that one that's 561,048. but you get this whole bit here you get two sheep pastures there you get the uh, Diddley Squat Farm up there, you get the biogas plant, and you get the Diddley Squat Farm Cafe plot. That's all in. We've got a huge forest here. And one thing I will say about this, or another thing I'll say, I'm going to say lots of things, but I would have preferred the forest to be split up into smaller sections because the forest is 1,161,000. So if you want to have a dabble at forestry, just do a little bit. It's a lot of money for the forest. It's a minor thing, but it's you know something to point out. And up at the top of the map, we have got a quarry. So if you're looking to find it, if you find Chipping Norton or Chadlington on Google Maps, you will find the relationship between Clarkson's Farm. You'll see it on there. It looks like it's under construction and Diddy Squat Farm. The rest of it, it does say it's a fictional map. So there's no big quarry just to the to the northwest. Um, and it's been, so it's just been kind of a, adapted, like I say, to make it fit. So we do start with a fair bit on New Farmer. Field prices are pretty good. I would say average for any map you get. And the verges of the map are available to purchase for zero. So all of that that's now lit up, you can get for zero if you wanted to. So we start here in Clarkson's backyard back garden and if you've watched the show you may not have watched the show if you haven't watch it even if you don't like Clarkson watch it Caleb steals the show well loads of other people do um anyway um so there's been loads of times Clarkson's been out here talking with Charlie the guy that was sort of his farm manager inside where they've been doing paperwork it's it's really nicely done it, it works very well we've got a gate that opens up out here into the yard we've got the pickup here and the building to the side, one of these buildings is where they started when Clarkson cut his hand really badly, did his thumb. Um, this shed here, I think, is I'm not sure that's quite right, but that represents I think the shed where all the fertilizer and stuff is kept. He does have a JCB telehandler, so we've got a JCB telehandler. You do start with a load of silage bales, load of hay bales. We open the gate here and go out the side. Now, we do have some production chains, and again, off the start, actually, we go to our production chains just here. You'll see we start with a large greenhouse because that's here on Clarkson's Farm. Bread and Cakes is here on Clarkson's Farm. Grape juice and then these three, the mini creamery, mini sugar mill and mini flour mill are down the road. 
And what's interesting with this as well, or what's interesting with this is that on Farm Manager and Start From Scratch, even though you don't own the land, you do still start with these production chains. You do have them, which is curious. I wouldn't think you would unless you own the land, but you do start with them. So they are on here. So if we come straight out, got some garage and storage space all over the place uh, we've got here in front of us this is the bread and cakes you can just see bottom right it says bread and cakes if we click on that it takes us back to their bread and cakes so because because Clarkson's diversifying um, trying dabbling all different with different things that's why they put some of these on the map um, now this I'm curious about we do have a load of manure that we start with that's all piled up here I'll show you why in a moment and our start equipment is all here now on new farmer the slot count is 1,324 uh, on farm manager and start from scratch it's 1,075 because you don't have any of the start equipment now Clarkson dabbled with potatoes he's got we've got a cedar here and stuff now you may want to go in look through the mod tub and try and find equipment that more matches what he has that's absolutely fine go, absolutely go for it um, that's a lot harder for map makers to do unless they get permission from the modders to do it So it's easier to put in-game equipment in then you can fiddle around with it however you want to so there's a whole array of equipment Around here uh, what is cool as well From the show if we hop the fence here and go around We've got the chickens here in the little forested area where they put the fencing in all the chicken coops got painted bright colours, and you do start with some chickens. We've got 30 out of a potential 300, so the chicken coops are here. And what, it, and what I like about it is it, it feels right. You know, you kind of, there's a, there's a like I say, some very nice touches on here that work very, very well. Um, it does say in the description um, from FS Landscaping, uh, thank you to Alien Jim for letting me use his static um, vehicle mod. Uh, there's a lot of static vehicles around to make it look like it's more kind of lived in. Um, and DJ Goham for his support and advice while making the map. So shout out to those guys. If we come over to here, we've got the grape juice. I think it's like adult grape juice because they're they're trying they're trying to do distilling and brewing and all sorts of stuff. They've got the natural spring water from the or, well, it was contaminated, but we won't go into all that. Grape juice from raisins. There we go, raisins and grape juice. We can do here by bringing grapes. This is the big shed that Clarkson was trying to reverse a trailer, I think it was in season one, into here to unload uh, onto the floor, which was rather amusing to watch. So what we do have though added in, we don't have anything um, major under build mode. Under build mode, there's nothing I found, only animals. Under animals and sheep, we've got under there, see Chipping Norton mod, there's a sheep pasture, zero. For 100 sheep, so you can place it anyway, anywhere you like, um, which is pretty cool. That was the only thing I found under build mode, but then if we go into our vehicles and go to our medium tractors to make it fit more like um, Clarkson's... See, see what I mean? I've got the two Lamborghinis, the Mark VRT. I've got both of those installed, but they're not showing up. But if we go here, Chipping Not On Mod, the Series 8 TTV, and that's got standard configuration or warrior, so that colour's been changed to make it look a little bit more like a Lamborghini. Um, to sort of fit the style we've got a builder there as well over here we've got the cow barn cow pen with some cows in it again if you watch the show 30 out of potential 60 if you watch the show when one of the cow the errant cow was running over the top of the uh the uh, soil heap here and they were trying to get them back in it was rather amusing we come down we've got our large greenhouse that we start with and then a little bit further down animal trailer and then we've got a cow pasture uh, this is for 150 cows I think it is yep I like this as well you don't see it very often we get crushes in game and that, cattle crushes I like the fact this has been set up as you would a cattle crush out in a field when they take the gate sections out drop the cattle crush down and then kind of herd them all round into a small pen which can be closed and then put them through the crush to do well, the bolus and whatever it is. I need to do a bit of trim in here and there. I like the way that's laid out. That's very cool. Anyway, uh, close the gate. Back up. Now, this is, this is the only bit that had me a little bit puzzled here up at the, the farm. We've got a couple of buildings that open. But as we come around, you'll see we do start with a feed mixer. There's nothing in it, but we do start with a feed mixer. 
straw blower around there. So here is the trigger for the manure heap. But the manure heap's all the way around there. So I'm not sure if the manure heap's supposed to be here or the trigger's supposed to be over there. Um, you can, with the, te the telehanner and a bucket, you can collect that manure, unless this is a separate manure heap, but it seems a bit peculiar if it would be. But anyway, that's the only thing I found that was a bit bizarre here. Don't think these open. That one did. Oh, there we go, it does. So there's plenty of storage space for whatever you should want to do. So what we're going to do is go from Clarkson's farm and let's head around to the map. So if you don't follow my social media, and I have mentioned in a couple of videos, in July after FarmCon, Farmer Cop and um, DJ Goham came over to the UK. And myself, DJ Goham, Farmer Cop and Virtual Farmer went into London. Then we got the train out to Chalbury, which is not far from here. Sorry for this potentially sudden interlude. This is future Mr. Silly P. I forgot this and I meant to show it. I'll carry on in just a moment. But another nice touch that I like. If we come down here as we're leaving and follow this down, if if you watch the series, when Clarkson, uh, well, and Lisa, but Clarkson, had that great big excavator and they were trying to do the rewilding and they were going to put in a lake and they put fish in it and stuff like that, that's it. That's down the hill. When the excavator was sliding down the hill and then they came down with the tractors and one got stuck and they had to get a second one, that's all down here. <laughs> nice touch has been added in. I like that. Come back to the map. That's here. So just down from the farm. I like it. And we went up to Diddley Squat Farm to meet Caleb Cooper, um, which was amazing. We didn't go to Clarkson's farm. We did go to Diddley Squat Farm though. Um, and it was just amazing, absolutely fantastic. And that's why when this came up, I was thinking, oh, I really hope, you know, obviously for copyright reasons and things like that, the, the signs aren't there, um, but it's, it's very well done. It is very well done. So, come down and out onto the main road. So I'm pretty sure when we, we got a taxi from the train station, we came up this road towards, if we go to the map. It gets this irrelevant information, you don't necessarily need to know. I'm pretty sure we came up this road here and got to Diddy Squat Farm there, because we didn't come in through this bit here. I'm sure we came up this way, because the taxi driver said we were driving along probably this road here that goes out to the bottom of the map. He said, if you look off to the right through the hedges, you can see Clarkson's farm, which would put that about right where it was. Anyway. So this plot here, we own at the start on New Farmer. It's only 23,508. Um, and this has got some additional things so this has got the other three productions on it so it's a triple production building which is kind of interesting in that built into here we have got a mini sugar mill just here we've got a mini flour mill just here I like that as well. Um, watching Joe Seals, they get a lot of their wheat and stuff in, and they put they've got um, one that attaches to their um, tractors, but a mill for, for milling their stuff, and that gets put up and gets put into the mill and stuff like that. But that's very cool. And then we've got a creamery. Now the creamery already has some milk in it, and then we do have one thing of butter already. But we do have a creamery, which we start with butter, cheese, and chocolate. Um, but then we come outside as well. What we've also got out here in the silos we do have a whole load of sugar beet which can you can then cut and have sugar beet and sugar beet cut to put into your sugar mill and then we've got a load of wheat all sat here which you can take in and put through your flour mill so we can do our sugar we can do our flour and we've also got some milk run already at our creamery interesting isn't it something a little bit different Down into Chaddington. We're going to chuck a right in a moment. Just here. So, to our right, we have got the. Is this a supermarket or shop? 
village shop. So village shop, sell point, around the back there. We've got the cafe opposite with the sell point just around the back there. Helium deer, as you saw behind us. Don't you notice that? If we continue up the road. Now there are three farms. So there's Clarkson's farm. Oh, hang on. I just realised. I'm just saying about the farms and just missed the turning. Um, there's Clarkson's farm that you start with. There are two additional farms which can be purchased. And I think on a new farm you do start with both of them. One of them has the combine harvester in. Because if you've, again, if you've seen the series, when they do their um, harvesting, they get a contract or a local farmer with his combine that comes in to do their um, harvesting work with them. So I think this simulates that. So we are currently here. So this plot here, 70, is 19,416. Then we've got this one here, 71, which is 26,868. This one's got a farm silo on, and this one has got your harvester. There's no other animal triggers or anything like that in here. As far as I can tell as well, there's a couple of little bits here and there, manure heaps and things like that, but even though you own this land, I don't think we can demolish any of the buildings. I think they're fixed in place. But as you can see, the um, silage clamp you can so there are some things that are sort of just put in and some things that are modded in place um, so there's no animal triggers or anything like that but it's a yard so your header and header trailer is there harvest is in the shed just there and we've got a silage clamp around the back there's plenty of space it's not I'm not saying you can't put anything else down there's room for silos and all well, that's the thing I was going to mention um, there's no sleep trigger at the start on this map. That's been done intentionally to give you the option to choose where you want to start, what you want your start farm to be. As I always say, there are plenty of modded um, sleep triggers, ranging from doormats um, to benches to tents to full-blown farmhouses and beyond. I mean, we've even got a hotel, haven't we? Um, so yeah, take your pick. As we head up the road, we come to the next farm that I mentioned. And this has got an NL1622-2000 silo. You can just see there. That's a 2 million litre. It's a standard crop type one. Now, because well, off the start you own this land, but if you buy this land and it's not too expensive, you can demolish the silo and you can demolish the silage clamp if you wanted to. If you want to put a different silo in somewhere else or you want to put a different silo in here, you absolutely can. But again, more barn and building space should you require it. Now, when I started doing my court farm let's play, and that was genuinely, I don't think people believe me, that Caleb Cooper actually messaged me and asked me to do the let's play on court farm. He asked me, was I going to do it? If I wasn't, please do one, because he would watch it. And I said that I would do it, you know, if he, if he was my boss and I worked for his contracting company, and that's kind of how it started. And he said, immediately, you are not doing sheep. Because <laughs> if you if you watch the series, sheep were a nightmare. They kept escaping, they kept getting over fences. I mean, the cows did to some degree as well. Um, but we've got sheep pasture just here for 100, this side of the road, in this field here. And then we've got another one. A bit further along. There's also a guy that comes along. I think he's Eastern European, I'm trying to remember now. Uh, the beekeeper. And then he put beehives in and deals with their honey so we have this side of the road a second pasture in this field now these two fields are the ones you start with if you buy Clarkson's farm and I said you get Diddy Scott farm you get the restaurant plot you get these two fields and you get the you know, main Clarkson's farm so this is your second sheep pasture for a hundred and just over the other side of the wall here which actually fits because the guy pulls up his pickup or whatever we've got beehives something I don't think so no. I need to get to the main road so if I, hang on, I've missed a load of stuff the landscape is is brilliant I mean 
it may not be your cup of tea i found the hedges don't have collisions there are a lot of walls and there are a lot of hedges that have fences in them <laughs> ask me how i know uh, yeah so if you're thinking about cutting across fields and stuff now i haven't checked every single field to see if they're removable um potentially the hedges might be i don't know if the walls are actually you know what let's go into build mode if we go back along to when we get to one of the pastures because we own these two don't we if we go to i don't think we're going to be able to i think they're going to be fixed in place pretty much yeah i thought that'd probably be the case some interesting features around the map no they could be i haven't found it but I was looking out on the map to see if there was that bit where they put their bales out. If you remember from the series, where they were putting um, their excess crops as a temporary clamp. Um, and the local yobbos, the youths, came out and kept setting fire to the bales. I, I, didn't, I wondered whether that was going to be around somewhere. I haven't come across it. I'm not saying it's not the map, but I haven't seen it. So, continuing all the way down this road. So there's loads of sale points to our right. It's kind of like an industrial estate type thing. And that's where your standard in-game production chains come, ch chains come in. Um, because again, you know, it's all well and good having a map that faithfully recreates the area. But obviously there's all the farming simulator stuff that it doesn't need to be put in, but I guess. You know. Map makers try to where possible. So we have got the animal dealer just here. And then we've got the selling station just here. Let me go across the road. Taking a risk. Then take a left here. I'll show you on that where we are and where we've been, as I usually do. So once we turn in here, to our right we have the bakery, to our left we have carpentry, to our right we have the cereal factory, to our left we've got the dairy, to our right we've got the grain mill, to our left great processing unit, to our right oil mill, to our left spinnery. Come up the hill we've got sugar mill just there and out on the end we have got the tailor shop so back to the map so from there we went all up that road there did the bees came back and checked like so this is all part of the sort of verges of the map um there's a lot of forestry and stuff there's all sorts of, you know you can do whatever you like with it there we came up here to that t-junction turned left all the way down here to the animal dealer we're now going through all of these so what I'm going to do, rather than drive all the way back down to the road and back up, I'm just going to cut through the edge of the woodland and come back onto the road here. And we're going to head up. There's a huge placeables area just there. And then we're going to get out to Diddley Squat Farm. To our left, just there, there's a large placeables area. I mean, to be fair, that is part of the forest that I said was all one big lump for a lot of money. So it is a placeables area. If you want to set up a whole forestry thing, you can. But it's quite pricey. Now, FS Landscaping also bought us Ballam Road Dairy Farming, which was Tom Pemberton's farm. So, what we'll do is go to the T-junction. Oh, it's like a little three-way um, crossing triangular type job. Just here. So the campground that's next to Diddley Squat Farm is just here. I'm sure. Is it DJ? Who are we talking to? They've either bought it or they're thinking of buying the campground. Not not DJ Goham, Clarkson's Farm. So, Diddley Squat Farm. This is honestly this is nuts. Now, I put in here. There's a picture of me somewhere around here where the Diddy Squat farm sign is. I know this seems very kind of, you know, I'm not trying to show off. If I've annoyed anybody, I do apologise. But I just want to show you how sort of the likeness of it. 
And we come up here to the farm shop itself. Now the car park has spread a bit further around now, um, but there's a picture I think from about this angle here. This is it, very like it is, it's brilliant. So we've got the farm shop just here. Then we come around the back and that little building is there. There's some guys there. And when we met Caleb, Caleb came up from the farm in his pickup and parked here, left his dogs in the pickup, took us around here. Now they've got their own cider as well. And this is, this is just like how it is, it's amazing. And the five of us came and sat on, I think it was this, this bench right here. There's a photograph of us sitting right here. And Caleb Cooper bought us all cider. And we sat and chatted for about three hours. It was amazing. And then there's a sign here that says keep off the crops. I don't think I've put that one on. There's a picture of us. We all kind of took pictures of selfies and stuff. Anyway. Looking out across the countryside. Now this was originally the sheep barn. When they first got their sheep and the sheep um, were... Um, lambing um, and they were coming up and they were doing the lambing was in this building here now this has been converted into more of a cafe type thing now and then if we come around the side here and look out across the field that's the old barn they converted into the restaurant um, which was quite a contentious issue but that is the if we go back to our map so we're here at the moment farm shop and down the bottom there is the farm restaurant Now I think in real life the track runs down the side of this field and then cuts across the bottom but it's been put across the middle here. But there's nothing there's nothing to stop you if you buy the plot. I think we start with the plots land, don't we? Yeah, we start with both those plots land. So if you wanted to, you could plough that out in the middle and have that as one field and you could put a track in around the side if you wanted to. It's time cheap. So we go. Farm restaurant. Is there a gate out here? I'm trying to remember. Might have just be a fence. I thought there was a gate, but maybe not. Oh, there is. Back onto the main road. It's going to be a little bit of, well, not too much backwards and forwards, but I'm going to go to the quarry. Now, the quarry, if you purchase it, it's a big old quarry and the whole bottom of the quarry is filled with rock. So if you want to do some quarrying, if that's your thing. So there's plenty of forestry, plenty of quarrying. So if we take the left here. I will cut across to work our way back, but we have got the backwards and forwards. The debris crush is an interesting one as well. When we get to that. Got some large open areas here. Let me swing round to the quarry. And it is massive. But again, you can set up a whole load of stuff. You, there's there's plenty of plenty of mods out there that require stone. But look at the size of that. That's quite deep. <laughs> it goes. I mean, it's just absolutely. It's mahoosive. So that's the quarry. Come back up and across. I'm going to cut through the hedge. We're going to go to actually, am I? Yeah, I should. We'll go to the lumber mill. I probably shouldn't, but I'm going to. If we just nip through the hedge here. Got the lumber mill just here. Manage production point or buy production point, and then manage it. Lumber sale point, and you wood chip as your byproduct out there. Come back out to the main road. And we've got our biomass heating plant, which is just to our right there. Go back onto the road. Just whiz down to the biogas plant, which is, as I said, we start with it. 
on New Farmer. But again, I'll show you on the map. So from there, we come up here, followed that all the way along to the quarry. We come back around there and cut across here to the lumber mill. Biogas heat, a biomass plant, biogas plant is here. If I click on that, that highlights that, 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 and those two fields. So when you buy that, you get the biogas plant for free, which is pretty cool. It's a standard biogas plant, two large silage clamps. As you will see, there you go, fairly standard. So back up the road. There's a turning on the right and we've got the restaurant. On the left is the restaurant, just there. On the right is where the debris crusher is. Now you can see the debris crusher, it's just there. And there are some stones there, but to get to it, you have to go through this uh, mobile home park is the best way to describe it. When you look at the sorts of vehicles, there is, yeah, I'm not, <laughs> you have to be so careful. I shall stop talking now. Where is it? Lost it. It's that little maze. A warren of activity. There we go. There's your debris crusher. Tucked away in there. So, from here... Back out to my road, I'm going to crash into something on a oh, obscured by trees. Then, for a moment, we've got our gas station just there on the very end. We've got the pizzeria just here, and then finally, the vehicle shop. Come up into here. The wide array. This is very much like when they went to buy um, Clarkson's girlfriend, Lisa, that works at the farm and helps him and does stuff. And they bought the little Massey. It was very much like this. I'm assuming that's what's, what uh, FS Landscaping is trying to recreate. So, vehicle workshop trigger is there. Sorry. The purchase point, the vehicle shop trigger is there. The workshop trigger is just out here. This is also the reset point. If you reset stuff, it will appear out here at the back. And that's the map. That's Chipping Norton. We started there, went all the way around, all up there, down to there, did that, did all that, did out to there. Did there, there, there. Now that road runs out and stops. I don't think there's... That's part of the verges, isn't it? The, the periphery of the map. I was just looking to see if there's any other bit that, uh, that, that is as well. That might have um, a pasture on or anything like that. Oh, hang on. I am wondering. I'm going to whiz out that road because I'm curious. Is that the bit I was talking about that had the bale, the bale clamp? I'm not sure it is, but it looks potentially like it is. I mean, you can always make one. There's nothing to stop you if you, if you want to go sort of, you know, fully immerse yourself. I'm trying to think if there's a modded clamp that's made out of bales, a bale clamp, but I, I don't know. If not, just take another bales out and build one. Why not? Oh no, it's a house. From the map, I couldn't tell, it looked like an open area. Anyway, that's Chipping Norton by FS Landscaping. I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, 
please give us a like if you don't subscribe yet please do if you want to leave a comment feel free and if you want to share this video then please and be my guest whatever you should choose to do thanks for watching